Um, lastly, I want to make this point of emphasis before I show you some practical applications. Um, my oldest son was fortunate enough to be a four-time starter at UCLA as a libero, and he was an All-American for several of those years, and arguably one of the best passers in the United States. Now, he had phenomenal leg speed, he had a perfect anatomical platform. When you put it together, it was fat, it was uh, narrow in the gap, no gap at all, big wide forearms. He had all those advantages, but that's not why he was one of the best passers in the United States. When he was seven years old, we were playing baseball, and he got up against an eight-year-old pitcher who hit three guys in a row before my son got up to bat. Now, we'd already been playing wiffle ball since he was two, and I'd been training his eyes. And he loved it, and he was smacking that ball and cutting the ball in half, hitting line drives all day long. And he's batting fifth in the order, and three of the first four guys get plunked by the pitcher, and my son's in the on-deck circle bawling, going, you're going to send me up to do that? I don't want to do that. I don't want to get hit by a, a pitch. And I went, ugh, I forgot to teach my son how to get out of the way of a pitch, too. We've been working on hitting, and I could throw with control for him to just hit all day long. So. I had to teach him how to get out of the way of the pitch too. But what happened was I was so motivated that I was literally throwing batting practice to him every day for about three months. And he got unbelievable in his ability to track the ball. And I'm certain that part of the reason that he ended up being a four-time All-American at UCLA is because we trained his vision at such an early age and his ability to track the movement on the ball. At eight, I was throwing nasty curveballs to him and he was smacking that ball out of the park on a regular basis. He rarely missed a ball, he rarely fouled the ball off. Line drive, line drive, line drive by the time he's eight years old. So his eye-hand coordination and visual tracking was off the charts. All right, so random movement for her and back to the uh, ball that's gonna die. So I'm gonna do one of two things. I'm either gonna throw a ball at you that makes you remove center line or throw a ball that makes you, that makes you do a lunge step. Are you ready? That was a pretty nice emergency maneuver at the last second. Good. Nice work. So this little drill right here, you'll see some athletes when you do this, they'll get frozen, and she's done a decent job. Thank you. Back it up a little deeper. And they tend to cheat too. You notice she's starting to run forward on each one so that she doesn't get beat. Nice job removing center line. And then I try and throw the, with the same look and then have the ball die. She's been perfect on that. So I was hoping for a worse example than that. You were too good. Nice job. Let's hear it for her, huh?